Hello there, this is the Bookkeeping Master on YouTube from BPFS, that's www.bpfs, bravo, papa, foxtrot, sierra, hyphen, online, dot com. This is one of a series of videos providing training on Sage One accounts, which will be broadcasted over YouTube. When you log on to Sage One Accounts, you'll have this screen in front of you, which is a summary screen which gives you um, just a snapshot of your financial status and bank history. <clears throat> it's a very useful screen. It will show your sales to date, um, sales to the year date, but also sales within the current month that we're in. It will show your expenses the same month to date and also year to date and um, your profit the same so your profit month to date and year to date down this bottom box it will show your top five unpaid sales invoices so invoices that need chasing and their outstanding value and it will also show you your current account bank balance um, and the history on that account before we start going through the video there's a few things um, you need to do at the top here click settings click business settings and enter your business information once you've entered that click save you have this box appear saying success Once that information has been put in, click Account Settings, click Invoice Settings, and then enter the information on this page to do with invoicing. Um, so you can enter your company logo, which will show at the top left of the invoice here, and then association logos down the bottom here. So say you're an accountancy practice, you'd have perhaps the accountant bodies down the bottom here, that you're associated with. Um, if you're an electrician, you would have membership bodies, perhaps one that you'd put down the bottom here. You can change the template of your invoice. There's four different templates you can choose from. So just choose which one suits you the best. Some of them will appeal more to someone who sells products. You'll notice on this one there's unit prices and quantity of units. Um, so that might appeal to someone selling products more than services. But still you can use both invoices for, or any invoice for what you provide. Or what. You then enter your invoice terms and conditions. You could put 30 days um, or whatever your terms and conditions are. The reason you want to put that in is because every time you then post an invoice into Sage One accounts and print it off, this will automatically be put onto the invoice. Otherwise, you'll have to do it manually every time you raise an invoice that you wish to print. So put your terms and conditions in there. Can be your customer credit days, supplier credit days, or the next invoice number is. So if you've already been in business and you're at invoice number 200, you'd put 201 there, and then your next invoice will be 201, 202, 203, for example. Um, but if you're starting from scratch, just leave that as one. You can put a prefix in, this is normally SI for sales invoice and also a sales credit number prefix which is which is normally SCN, sales credit note. Once that's all entered, click save. Click home and come back to this summary screen and that will prepare us for our next video when we look into this sales tab here. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for part two.